Hello YouTube, hello Micromasters, welcome back to my channel. I am going to make a wild assumption and assume most of you already know who I am because honestly I'm really tired of introducing myself at the start of each video. But for those of you who don't, my name is Michael Ryan and I'm the creator of Micomon Regions on Instagram and Twitter where I share my fake Mon Regions, the Luwika region and the Firen region. Anyways, now that we got that over with, I know what you're thinking. Yes, I need to shave, I plan on doing it, I just haven't had the time. But we aren't here to talk about my beard, we're here to talk about Pokemon. Actually, Fakemon. Better yet, Mycomon. <laughs> and in this video, I'll be introducing the second stages for my starter Pokemon in the Firin region. Well, I say introducing, but a lot of you have already seen them on Instagram, as I posted them there the last week. But I know not all of you follow me on Instagram, and even those of you who do will be in for a treat as we dive deeper into their lure, inspiration, and designs as I have for the Pokemon in my past videos. I once again worked with my good friend, the talented Fungi Fakemon, on these designs, the same artist I worked with and commissioned for the first stages of these Pokemon. We spent several months working on them to get them just right and make sure they looked like those second stage starter Pokemon which I feel are often kind of those awkward middle school years or kind of like the bridge between the first and final stages of Pokemon. So I think we did a good job of accomplishing that with these designs, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Without further ado, let's have a look. First up, we have Shrubjorn, the bush bear Pokemon and evolution of the grass starter, Berry. Shrubjorn's name is a combination of the word shrub, another name for a bush, and Bjorn, the Norse word for bear. Unable to grow berries in its bush-like fur since evolving, Shrubjorn are more aggressive as a result. They feel as if they've lost a piece of themselves and often express their anger on the battlefield. Its color scheme, while similar to its pre-evolution berry, is now slightly darker as it has more of a quiet confidence to it. And while its dex entry explains the lack of berries in the design since evolving, the real reason it no longer has the berries was actually a design choice, stemming from the Norse inspirations for the design. If you look closely, its bush-like fur now resembles a bear pelt, much like the ones worn by Berserkers. Berserkers were an uncontrollable and overly violent Viking warrior said to have fought in a trance-like fury. Berserkers were known to wear bear pelts into battle, at least that's how they're often depicted. However, since a pelt is a dead animal, I felt that having the bush-like fur produce life would contradict this concept. So the fact it can no longer produce berries after evolving further emphasizes the concept of the bear pelt as it is now barren and absent of life. From a design standpoint, I also felt the bright berries would clash with the slightly darker color scheme in the design, which will actually get even darker as it evolves even further, embracing that berserker concept and, spoiler alert, a brand new secondary typing. So Barry's concept using berries as war paint is actually an example of how bad we all want to grow up when we're young, whereas its evolutions show the toll life actually takes on us as we age. As the second stage, I felt it was important that Shrubjorn's design sets the stage for its evolution so it doesn't feel like it came out of left field. That's actually my intention with all three of these starter second stages. Next up is Brené, the fire horse Pokemon and evolution of fire starter Faloga. Its name comes from the Norse word for burning, Brenna, and the sound a horse makes, Nay. Easily agitated, Brené will often dash away when annoyed, leaving a trail of scorch marks behind in their wake. The intensity of their smoldering flames is fueled by their emotions. Brené is not only taller than its pre-evolution, but once again, its colors are slightly darker as well. It still features oranges, but now the white on its body is more of a smoky gray. There is still some white featured in the design as it's now moved into its bangs. The streaks of white hair in its bangs are meant to foreshadow its evolution, Heselder's new design and typing in a subtle way. Its mane and tail have also gotten longer, giving it more of that emo or goth look once again helping to sell that awkward teenage phase most second stage starters sport. Its dex entry stating that the intensity of its flames is fueled by its emotions is meant to act as a fun nod to its edgelord appearance. Once again, I wanted to avoid it looking like any previous horse Pokemon, especially fellow fire types Ponita and Rabidash. So I chose to avoid adding literal flames and instead allude to flames in subtle ways such as its mane or patterns in its body. Last but not least, Crabub has evolved into the briny crab Pokemon, Nauticlaw. Its name comes from the word nautical and claw as a clear reference to its large crab claws or pincers. Fearless, Nauticlaw wear their armored shells into battle with great pride. They are often found in or around the Fearin region's frigid waters, using their pincers to raid those they deem unworthy. 
Much like the other second stagers, Not a Claw stays true to its predecessor's color scheme while changing it up ever so slightly, now adopting the darker shade of blue from Crabob's design and a steely silver in its pincers and the helmet on its head. This helmet is meant to act as a subtle reference to Viking helmets, which is once again setting the stage for its final stage, Vikrab's new concept and typing so the transition between the two feels more natural. Not a Claw is bulkier than Crabob, it definitely gained the freshman 15 since evolving, but wears it with pride. I mean, who doesn't love a round friend-shaped Pokemon? Once again, there are a handful of crab Pokemon, most of which being water types. So it was hard making it stand apart from the crowd, but crucial. Although I think its bulkier design and newly added Viking features help do exactly that. Well, that wraps up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it in these designs. And if you did, please make sure to give your boys some love, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel for more content. You can also learn even more about these Pokemon and many others on my Instagram page, at Mikemon Regions, where I share their moves, their stats, their abilities, their sprites, and their shinies. Am I still recording? Ah, well, I gotta work on my ending. Oh, whatever. I'm too tired. They can just have me as I am. Ah.